So this is going to be the most basic image transfer that I do. Uh, this is a beautiful, just strong, high contrast image on a white or pale background. So she should stand out as a silhouette with uh, lots of white space around her. And so first of all, and I'm going to do this in real time, no editing. So you actually get to see how long it takes for the page to be on the plate how much brayering, etc. So here we go. So just laying down some of the Amsterdam black acrylic in black oxide and brayering that onto the plate evenly and thinly. That's probably, I like to, and then I use the palette to just take off the excess paint but not too much obviously and just a nice thin even long strokes vertically and horizontally covering the whole plate okay so her image is at the top so I don't want to waste that and I'm just going to lay it down along that top edge and really trying to roll it down to get rid of any air bubbles now give it a good firm massage at this point get rid of air bubbles make sure the contacts really good hopefully it'll be a good one there's a bubble there just massage that out hopefully all right let's see how we went Okay, <clears throat> she's come out quite beautifully. All right, so that's what your page will look like at the end. So uh, while that's unusable, I'll be able to use her again next time. So don't throw them out. Make sure you always look on at what's on the back of your page. So I always clean my brayer. Uh, but I'll just go and pop it in some water and I've got a second one here which I'm going to use for my white. And as I said, I'm going to do this in real time. You can see a few little bumps there, um, but it's pretty clean. It's pretty good, especially around a face. That's where it's important. Um, again, uh, not a popular choice, but I do, I can either wait for it to dry or I can just use a hair dryer very high um, cool just to seal that image on the plate just to dry it as I said this is going to be the most basic style some people pull that image straight away uh, they don't allow it to dry they'll put pull the paper off and then put their paper down and pull it straight away. I find that that's not the most successful print. I'd rather wait a moment, dry that off, and then I'll do a layer of this Liquitex transparent mixing white over the top. So that doesn't take long to dry. So we should be ready to go. And if you've only got one brayer, you will have washed that by now, dried it well, and you're ready to go. But I've got a second brayer here ready to go. So, and I've got my paper that I'm going to pull the print onto also ready to go. So here's my transparent mixing white. And again, brayer that on, getting out all the lumps and bumps, making it as even and thin as possible. Again, cleaning it off on your palette just to get rid of excess paint. And really nice long, even strokes horizontally and vertically. Because it's a transparent white, we shouldn't see too many of those brayer lines on there. Okay, so now I'm going to lay that down. I've got my board underneath, which is what I use to register my paper. 
and as I said before once you've massaged it down well I would usually go and wash my brayer I'll just pop it in water for now so just to speed it up a bit and to again no editing and keep it in real time I'm just going to use my hair dryer just again really massaging those edges because you really want them to lift well any grungy bits left you would you know want to pick them up with this pull um, but it just um, means that you're more likely to have a successful print good massage take long I guess the hairdryer definitely speeds it up so if you've got one again just be careful not too hot you don't want to melt your gel coat all right let's see how it goes all right this is the fun bit all right here we go looking pretty good and we're getting some of those grungy edges as I said this is one of the most basic, black and white. Uh, in future videos, I'll develop the technique a little bit more, adding some pattern, but this one's pulling off quite nicely. There's a little bit of black still on the plate, but I think that's coming off pretty nicely. And just so you can see it straight, there we have it.